Let me take a look at you, stranger. No settlement. I'll have to watch my step. too much.
Frost ammo could help here. Roasted machine coming right up. Should hit it with frost ammo.
keep going. for when I need it. Maybe I should check it out. Some kind of boss room here? How'd they end up out here? I'm gonna part ways with this machine for now. Signal for my focus. Looks like we have company. Why not rest for a moment, friend? Maybe if we go up and over. rebels hold up at an outpost nearby. Ah, finally, beating Huntress. Death that way. Have I got news for you, Red? I hear the Tanakh are fighting each other quite a bit these days. Some of them contain machines. Those you've got to be real careful of. We've seen a whole bunch of them setting up outposts around here. Spotted one just west of here. A few settled at the edge of the desert in the southwest. They even set up camp in the south. Really helps a fellow sleep at night. Just... Make sure you steer clear of them. Those rebels are bad business. I'll keep an eye out for them while I'm out here.
Palmac. If I override it, I can get data on the surrounding area. This must be the ruins of Las Vegas. Poseidon shouldn't be far. I thought I said this is where I'd find Poseidon, but... The ruins out here are exposed to the elements. But a lot of them are buried in the sand. So we need to I might be able to find way down the ruined structures. This isn't going to do much.
Maybe I'm pulling this from the wrong direction. They'd set up outposts in the area. If I leave them be, they'll cause nothing but trouble. I should lie low. Find whoever's in charge and take them out. Maybe then the rest will leave. That soldier with the heavy weapon. That has to be in charge. You're not as sneaky as you thought. Alarm! Uh -huh. <laughs> Exciting. Check the leader's body. I'll find something useful. It definitely helps. Oh! <laughs> 
Check if there's anything with a lock around here. I bet I can open that chest with this key I found. These look like identification tags. I've seen Snog soldiers carry them, but never this many. These must be the soldiers they killed. Either way, I'm done here. Fill up like him.
much better. Drone? Must be part of Cyclops. If I can get its data, I can reconnect it with the dome back at the base. Well, it's how to get up there. Gotta bring the drone down to grab its data. Maybe if I jump onto it? Oh. 
Taking you with me. Going down. You're mine. You're mine. Okay. Gotta grab the drone's data. But a cook can do something with this. Water's pouring out of that building. What are those doing? I better check it out. Someone's been through here. Something behind that tarp. Oh, 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 I was out of. I was so close. Oh, to drowning, maybe. Not, not to the embers. M Moreland, it's over. Well, not for me, it's not. Then you're going to die alone because we're not sticking around to fish out the corpse. We're through. And so the visionary's fate hung in the balance. Would he choose life or succumb to deadly delusion? <clears throat> Hello. So, there's an ancient city under the sand, but it's flooded. Suddenly, a Nora Spear Maiden appeared. Yeah, okay. Um. Well, you're not typical Delvers. That's for sure. What's this? Uh, I. I call it a diving bubble. This is the Mark I. The Mark II was better, but uh, it got stuck halfway down. Air tube snagged. You went down in that. Yeah, I hardly expect a layperson to understand. Because that's pretty smart. Uh, I'm sorry. May I remind you, you got stuck inside and nearly drowned. It'd have to be portable, though. Mm, machine kneecap, maybe? Well, you'd need a filter. Synthetic membrane would do it. With a hose to a... Compressed, compressed air, air capsule, gas. hammer, and tongs. What is this? What is happening here? What? Get over here. She's a stranger. You got a name? Aloy. Moreland. Not a stranger anymore. You're a damn fool. Come on. I got the original schematics over here. Oh, um... <sighs> well, hold on. Just a couple of questions first. Fair enough. Partner? Partner? Don't mind him. What's so important down there that you'd risk your life? Uh, uh well... Ah... <clears throat> uh. Moreland, I'm not interested in salvage, okay? Whatever you find below is yours. Well, all right. Then what if I told you we were delving for the most spectacular treasures ever scribed by man or maid? I'd say get to the point. No nonsense. 
I like it. Behold, an ember. Looks like a piece of junk. Well, eat now, yes, but, but, but with a proper spark. These magnificent creations of the old ones paint mesmerizing pictures in the air, and the ruins below us are full of them. A feast for the eyes beyond description. This is my old Gramps promise me. How did your grandfather discover these embers? He was here. Forty odd years ago, he, he was one of the first to lead a delving party into the West. He discovered the ancient city around us, plumbed the depths of this very structure. He found the hollow underneath and the glowing embers all about. Took as many as he could and brought them home. He always wanted to come back and get more, but well, he never scraped up the shards. What he really wanted to do was use the embers to put on a show. One unlike the world has ever seen. Sounds like quite a guy. He was a true delver and a true showman. And I miss him. But I will do him proud. I will gather the embers and put on a spectacle that would have amazed even him. With your help, of course. So what exactly happened down there? It was a delve like no other. A chance to follow in my old Graham's footsteps. Beneath this structure here is an enormous hollow, a dome protected from the sands. We built this elevator here to ensure easy egress and exit. It's quite a contraption actually, and not so easy that- uh, Right, again, what happened? At the bottom. We beheld the treasure my Gramps first discovered. Painted images in the air of every description. Dancing women, and games, and coins, and promises of jackpots. I don't know what that is, but it's gotta be good. But then, something went wrong. The images turned nautical. Waves went through them, even fish. It's like a strange underwater dream. Poseidon's dream. Yes. Well, suddenly there was this terrible rushing sound and then an explosion of water erupted from the floor. So water just shot up from the floor and filled the place up? It was a raging flood unlike anything I've seen. We ran like forge fire and barely made it up the elevator as a wave just crashed beneath us. Shaken, but not stirred. I, I, I built the diving bubbles Mark I and Mark II. I tried the descent in each, but I nearly drowned both times. Abbott Dunn's beside himself. He thinks I'm insane, but I can't give up now. I, I, I just, I've come too far and the embers are just barely within my reach. Well, maybe I can help. Yeah, maybe you can. So these embers project images? Paintings of light. It's amazing stuff. This one showed the most beautiful woman you've ever seen beckoning all to a buffet of lobster and succulent beefs. <laughs> I must have watched it about a hundred times as a child in my old Gramps workshop. What happened to it? Over time, they die out. I cried the day that this one's light faltered. There are many more below, as you'll see if you get down there like I did and my old gramps before me. You guys don't seem like average delvers. We're not really delvers at all, we're, we're showmen. Like performers? You're Nora, and thus unfamiliar with the arts. 
we stage spectacles all around the claim. Stemmer tells stories, which I augment with all manner of sounds and fireworks and Abaddund, he, well... Complains? He handles the money, which amounts to about the same thing. When we delve, it's to find gear for my theatrics. Which makes this delve the most important one of all. How deep is it? Can't I just swim down? Only if you have gills. You can stack 50 kegs in that shaft. Leave it to the Osserum to measure something in kegs. Talking liquid depths. I'd say it's apt. After not, sounds too deep to hold my breath. Hence, our new invention. I'd better get after those parts. There's a fully intact compressed air capsule in the Mark II, but like I said, it's stuck in the shaft. If you made it back up alive, I should be able to swim down that far. All right. As for the other parts, Stemmer scouted a herd due south of here that should have what we need. I'm on it. Great. I'll come back when you get the gear. Good hunting. Probably get a, a guest list of 50. <laughs> so we need at least three dozen kegs. <laughs> Brown ale, maybe. Uh, no, no, for him, scrapper's up. Are you planning a party? Budgeting for Moreland's funeral, thanks to you. I was this close. <sighs> we were gonna move on, leave all this nonsense behind, and you come along uh, and you spark your wet noodle idea. It's going to work. I've heard that before. I'm always willing to engage in some commerce. So, uh, how does someone like you end up working for someone like Moreland? I work with Moreland. We got three equal claims in this venture. I saw one of his early shows. Back when it was... It was just him and his inventions. Works of flame, lights, and shadows, all kinds of gizmos. Never seen the like. The man is all spectacle. No sense. Bleed shards like, like, you get the idea. And without me to handle the finances, his dreams would be sunk. More sunk. Wish we were back in the claim. Plenty of normal shows to do without the, the salvage from this blasted place. And yet, you're here, in the middle of the desert, Delving for his dream. It was a good one. But sometimes, that dream has to die. This dream of Moreland's... Is going to get him killed. Let's say it doesn't. What happens after he gets the salvage down there? 
Then we put on the greatest show the world's ever seen. We'll have, we'll have special seating, premium ale, the works. Moreland will do his, his light spectacle thing. Stemmer will get their eyes a sparkling with his tails and I'll be selling tickets. <laughs> it's a nice thought, anyway. Moreland mentioned you were showman. What? An ostrom can't be anything other than a, a, a delver, tinker, or drunkard? <laughs> okay, sure, we are delvers too, but that is not our main source of income. Mostly, we go town to town, putting on shows. These shows, what are they? What happens at them? Tales and spectacle. Yeah, yeah. Moreland's got the technical know-how. Builds uh, all manner of inventions, whirly gigs of, of light and sound, cannons that, that, that shoot fire and showers of sparks and stemmer. Keeps them enthralled. Tales of adventure in the smoothest baritone. Yeah, that. And you? Me? Who do you think handles the financials for the whole blasted thing? <laughs> those two, eh, those two might have the, the sparks, but do you think they know their way around shards? <laughs> do you think? No, they don't. So Moreland was down in this ancient city, and... The three of us went down below. You? I can delve, too. Right. And uh, then what happened? What do you think? Water rushed in, we ran. Then Moreland built that blasted thing. Nearly got himself drowned. Twice. He... You want the finer details of his stupidity? You go ask him. I'll leave you alone. Do us a favor. Leave us all alone. I thought we were finally going to get away from this place. Good thing that Aloy showed up. We'll see. The longer their sojourn in the desert, the crustier... According to Moreland, the herd should be south of here.
this is where Moreland said the herd would be. They must have moved on. I need to pick up their trail. I better look for tracks. There. Tracks should lead me to the herd. Whipped up a sand spiral. Great. Okay. when I need it.
go check the other machines. Remember, I have a new pack of hands. takes care of the machine parts. Just gotta grab the compressed air capsule from Moreland's diving bubble. What now? I'll be... going. Finally. The compressed air capsule. I, I should have all we the were parts finally going to get away from this place. Well, I'll get back to Moreland. Good thing that Aloy showed up. We'll see. What can I do for you, partner? I've got everything I need to build the. Uh, the incredible diving mask. I think diving mask is enough. I won't quibble. The workbench is all yours. Whoa, they're 
there's a marvel. If it works, you'll let me try it? I want to get down there and get those embers. Assuming I don't drown. So what are you really looking for down there? It's hard to explain. Something that caused a malfunction in the apparatus that controls the old city. I think it started the flood. Well, I, I thought we started the flood. Like we sprung a trap. I don't know how we were detected. Like I said, the dancing lights around us changed, turned to sea life. There was this flash of red and the roar of water surging in. Wait, a flash of red? A, a red light from a spot near the grate on the floor where the water burst through. It was like a beacon. Or a warning. Thanks. That might help. I hope it does. And good luck down there. Okay. Time to see if this thing works. So far, so good. I can actually breathe down here. The mask seems to be holding up. I've never been able to swim this deep before.
flooding detected. Automatic drainage controls offline. To execute an emergency purge, manual reset of primary and secondary pump nodes is required. The purge can then be triggered at the pump maintenance station. If I do this purge and drain all the water, I can fight that big machine on dry ground. Looks like I have to reset a couple of pump nodes first. According to the map, there should be an access point for the first node south of here. There's the access point. Should lead me to the pump node. There must be a whole network of these tunnels down here. Water lines for an entire city. from here. Maybe there's something I can climb to get out. down. Better swim back up and find the access point for the second node. should be on the other side of the dome.
another access point. It should get me to the second node. Just shut down the secondary node. No more water for the fountains. No more shows. No one left to appreciate them anyway. I'll never forget the city's grand reopening. The fountains have been bone dry for years. No one believed they'd ever return. So, as the first plume arced up in the dome, the music swelling, my heart soared right along with it. The city gave me a second chance once. Now it had one, too. The domes, the daughter. She was responsible for all of it. Let's see if that helped. Okay, I've taken care of both nodes. Now we just need to activate the emergency purge at the maintenance station. According to the map, the maintenance station should be at the south end of the dome. of light in that tower, just like at the console I found earlier. That might be the maintenance station, but how to get in? Part of this building collapsed. There might be a way in. I think I'm in the maintenance station now. I just gotta find a console to activate the emergency purge.
should be a console in here. There. Time to draw this place out. <gasps> That did it. <laughs> okay. Now I can deal with that machine guarding the door on the other end of the dome. If it's constant, I can get to what's waiting on the other side of the door. Sighted. I guess the purge didn't get rid of all of the water. Machines behind. Let's make my room. Do the big one first. for later.
Okay. Poseidon is through there. But where did that machine go? Aloy! It's a miracle! Oh! oh. Is this you? Did you lower the waters? Yeah, but there's a new problem. That thing's in our way. Wow. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult to get the embers with that around. As the scrappy band of adventurers beheld the beast, they knew what they had to do. What? Are you crazy? Hush now. She saved our death. Okay, then. Stay up here, and start firing when I engage. Gentlemen, get a move on. Stash this away for later. You guys all right? More than all right. This... You... We did it! <laughs> all the embers we could ever want, and it's all thanks to you. Very, uh, heartwarming. But maybe we can just, you know, grab what we came here for and get out before any more of those things decide to show up. Now, now, shard counter. Nothing wrong with a little revenue. 
Though we should probably let our flame-haired friend get going. I believe she has business down here, does she not? Right, of course. You need any help? I can handle it from here. Very well. Well, we'll start taking some of the embers upstairs. Holler if you need us. Thanks. Sidon should be somewhere beyond this door. Time to bring it home. Ugh. Water in my boots. Poseidon should be hiding in some kind of processor. I need to find a console to gain access to it. There. I should be able to use that console. I'm here to bring you home, Poseidon. To Gaia. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. That's from the right activated. Restoring the sign and subordinate function to original code. Okay. Gotta bring this back to Gaia. Taking Poseidon triggered a restart of the city's power system. Worland and crew must have headed back up top. With all the animals they could carry at this. Elevator. Merlin must have built this before the place flooded. Nice to work. Be nice not to have to climb back up.
Whatever she did, she must have powered up the whole city. That's cool. How much did all this cost? Ah, <laughs> oh. oh, show my old Gramps always wanted. There's another. His dream realized, his old Gramps' legacy ensured, our hero beheld the sea of desert lights and wept at his good fortune. When I saw the Embers as a child, I never dreamed they could be like this. Thank you, Aloy. Well, did you find what you were looking for? I did. And now I have to move on. Oh. Oh. Come back when you can. I got big plans for this place. I thought you wanted to put on shows with the Embers back in the claim. Oh, no. This is the show. Oh, can you imagine? Folks from all over the land coming to take it all in. Plus, some food and a nice place to stay. Not to mention a variety of entertainment venues. Uh, don't forget, games of chance. Plenty of shards to be had there for certain. <laughs> a new dream, huh? I, um, I hope you make it happen. Goodbye, gentlemen. This delve is a story for the ages. All thanks to you. Moreland and crew's gonna stay. Maybe I should come back and check on them later. For now, I need to get Poseidon back to Gaia. But I might want to pay a visit to that other Ostrom camp I found first. And with my new diving mask, I should be able to swim as deep as I want to. Once I find a place with more water. A lot of shards to get this place up and running. there be one here. I should find their leader. Put an end to this. What's the word? Oh, death swirling. We're still clear. They've got riders on patrol. Shoot the right ammo to set that off. Okay. 
got a machine locked up below the tower. If I blow up the blaze in front of it, and free it. Cause some trouble. All clear.
Were they soon enough? Keep some extra on hand. Tomek. If I override it, I can get data on the surrounding area.
If I follow their tracks, I can find out where they're headed. I can probably use my focus to follow the tracks those riders left behind. The land out here is sick with light, too. But we'll be able to heal all of it. Once Guy is strong enough to capture Hephaestus. This? Oh, uh, <laughs> you're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try a gentler touch. And my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? Bring it back. Trace the line. To your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha! They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music. Aloy! Aaron, you're all better. And you're here. Well, the world only goes on if you can do your thing. We learn fast enough, we help make that happen. You want all the backup you can get, right? We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I'm seeing glyphs in my dreams already. Well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Uh... Oh, uh, okay. I wouldn't have taught you the song if I didn't like the way you sing it. So you like hearing me butcher a taru? I sure don't. You sound like a dying long <laughs> Welcome back, Aloy. When you're ready, please merge Poseidon with me. Afterwards, I must discuss an important matter with you. So, what did you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Aluthia frequency. Aluthia? That's one of the subfunctions you couldn't detect before. Yes. 
The transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. Coordinates. Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. A word of caution, Aloy. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone, or something else. You don't think it's actually Eleuthia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code. A distress signal. A desperate plea for help. Why would Eleuthia send a coded transmission on a frequency only the two of you can communicate on? I believe it was done as a precaution to avoid detection, or at least to create the appearance of the desire to do so. I am also uncertain why Eleuthia would expect that I would be able to detect and respond to its distress signal at all. As far as it is aware, I no longer function. Okay, so... Either Eleuthia is in trouble, and sent the message hoping you were out there. Or someone else is trying to get us to go to these coordinates, pretending to be Eleuthia. That is my conclusion as well. Could the Zenith be sending the transmission? According to the data I reviewed on your focus, the Zeniths recovered the other Gaia root kernel in the Hades Proving Lab. It is feasible they used it to gain access to my internal frequencies. So... Maybe they sent it thinking you'd respond, and reveal your location. Possibly. However, the transmission is highly irregular. If they intended to provoke me into revealing myself, I would expect the communication to be more routine. Right. So maybe it's not them, then. You said the coordinates lead to a mountain to the northwest. What's there? I have no record of anything of note in that vicinity. Okay, and what about the other number in the message? 237. Any idea what that means? I have queried my available databases, but it does not appear to have any significance. Perhaps its meaning can only be understood at the indicated coordinates. All right. I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. I included Erend and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. I'll be careful and... We're coming with you. Fine. Go grab your things. We'll wait for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear. 